So here are some ways we can replace some sort of non-trauma responsive language with trauma responsive language. So one of the phrases, so these are all actual phrases that we hear. OK, so maybe you've taken a bit too much on. You look like you're struggling. How judgmental is that? So you can say, do you know what? You're allowed to feel overwhelmed. I understand. I'm here to help. Dig deep for that empathy. You've got it. You have empathy. OK, everybody has empathy. Some of us struggle to reach it and find it more than others. But as teachers, I would like to think you've gone into this practice because you have empathy. So find it, dig deep and find it. She's fine when she's here. Do you think you might be overreacting? What you could say is it's not your fault. It's not your daughter's fault. Let's work together to make sense of what's going on at the moment so I can help. How lovely is that? How reassuring. Or one of the awful ones we've heard recently. Well, it just looks like you're not coping to me. Again, to say it's OK to feel overwhelmed. It shows that you care. So you're validating and you're actually giving them a compliment. Parenting is tough. I understand. And this feeling will pass. We know that. We know that as adults. We know this feeling is not going to be there forever. Another big one, particularly if you've got a child who has maybe pathological demand avoidance, otherwise known as PDA. Um, as parents of children with PDA, we hear this a lot. I think you need firmer boundaries. You're not strict enough. Um, what you could say is I, I'm really keen to take your lead on this and helping you develop the strategies that you need so that we can use them at school to complement what you're doing at home. Let's work together. And it's all about being on that level playing field. You're the same. There's nothing more in a parent. There's nothing more in a teacher. We need to meet each other here and work together. So the word with is very important. OK, so let's work together with one another.